What's going on, Christian? Hi, Rye. How's it going? How are you doing? Great. How are you? Good, good, good. I just wanted to talk about the Equality Act, the uh, Democrats. Oh, wanted... the LGBT get special rights and everybody else has to bow down to them, even though they claim they want equality when they're trying to trample on everybody else's rights. Bull crap. It's the Inequality Act. And, and it, the transgender athletes, do you think uh, they should have a right to play high school totally sports? Totally inappropriate. Totally inappropriate. Male, biological males should not be competing against biological women. You know, if, if they want to create a transgender league, then do that. But it's biologically unfair that males compete against women. This would be the death of female sports. This would be the end of women getting college scholarships to play sport. No, absolutely not. Uh, no, I know you did uh, gymnastics. Did you even have to deal with like transgender uh, athletes around you? Well, no. And I mean, I, I think the concern mainly isn't for females who transition to males, but more so males that transition to females. I think that is more where the unfairness would come into play. Nice. And going back to the equality at the Tenth Amendment, people really want to raise the minimum wage. Your thoughts of uh, raising the minimum wage to fifteen dollars? Let's raise the minimum wage to fifteen dollars, and then we'll kill your job, we'll cancel your job, and we'll automate your job as well. So if you want to raise the minimum wage, and you want to have a job. Beautiful. Great. You still going to college? How is college doing? Yes, I go to UCLA. I have one more year till I graduate. We're not on campus yet, but I'm thinking about when we do get on campus, I may need a bodyguard for the radical. He does need a bodyguard. <laughs> UCLA. One old run. <laughs> UCLA, it's pri uh, primarily liberals. Yeah. As a conservative, you have to deal with classes that primarily like lean towards the left, no? Oh, not even just lean towards the left. It's like they're screaming leftist nonsense, climate change ridiculousness. Oh my God. Classmates are taking videos of me in our Zoom classes. It's totally inappropriate, but I think as a conservative, it's really important to voice my opinion and my perspective because it's one of the only ones that'll get voiced. Do you feel like uh, there should be a, a better conservative movie, especially in Hollywood? Because I feel like there's lacking like entertainment. I know uh, Ben Shapiro is coming out more in the entertainment field. Why there are, should be there more uh, artists as conservatives? Absolutely, but I think more so, you know, people are getting tired of the nonsense that Hollywood is putting out. They want to hear truth. They want to watch entertainment that doesn't have an agenda behind it. So, you know, if Hollywood doesn't start getting their act together, then they're going to be losing sales. They're going to be losing money. It's time that they start putting out real entertainment rather than agenda-driven nonsense. Beautiful. And what's going on with you in 2021? 2021 okay working a lot on social media still have a super um, exciting project coming we'll be doing a podcast as well oh, so beautiful. follow me have a merch store coming out soon gonna be fun what's the podcast about just you being so my podcast is called uncancelable it's basically you know I say such outrageous things that are just true but people feel scared to say and so because I don't play into cancel culture I'm uncancelable that's the basis of the podcast we'll be talking about um, all things cancel culture is it I'm gonna I'm gonna pull race out here. Is it because you're uncountable because you're black and you're not straight? Um, I think it's simply because I do. Well, sure, but I, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. But I don't play into the nonsense. I, I mean, I don't care. It doesn't matter all of my identity. I just say things that people deem inappropriate. He's American now. first. I'm an ben American. Black. Yes. That's Thank what you. we were saying yesterday. I know? feel like there, if, if you're conservative, there should be more heroes because like. I, I, if you look at like any conservative people, like who, who, who do they have to look up to, right? We don't have many, and we don't have many conservatives that are intact with pop culture. So I think it's really important that we have more conservatives, not tooting my own horn, but like me, who talk about pop culture and who are involved and in understanding of the culture, rather than just buttoned up, stuffy, uh, boring people that nobody wants to listen. To. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like Frenchie's doing like a reality show for conservatives, right? Yeah. Love that. I always speak the truth. Me, I don't care. You know, I just tell you the way it is and take it or leave it, bitches. <laughs> Beautiful. If people want to hit you up for advice or anything, we're going to hit you up. You can hit me up at Christian Walker. The Ian Walker is the number one. Instagram, Twitter. My TikTok got banned, so I'll be making another one. So did mine. Ah, uh, so whatever. What did you, have to, what did you put on bitches. TikTok? Oh, I don't know. It was just that all of my videos were getting over a million views and TikTok was probably threatened or all the little baby leftists were threatened by my truth. So they mass reported my account doesn't matter I'm still one of the biggest um, online conservatives cool. so you know, like, and all your little liberal friends away. are still watching me leftist so keep yeah, it up beautiful. No, nobody can is take, take his shine away easier to stay so beautiful thanks so much guys Bye now it's
the best thing to get? Um, basically the lamb kebab for sure and the mala lamb. Uh, and also a lot of customers love our um, uh, pep fried buns. For okay. Kids. Now, do, do we uh, cook it uh, outdoors? If the outdoors is available, what do we do here? Um, since we cannot take the grills outside, we cook 90% indoors and I give to the customers with the grill so they can warm the food. It's not going to get cold and, you know, not so delicious. Gotcha. So. Is there two locations or just one location? We have two locations. One is in Western, this one, and then we have another one on uh, Olympic. Which is smaller, um, cozier. But it looks amazing though. Is, is this the best kebab in uh, K Town? I hope so. <laughs> Thank you. What's the, uh, do you go on Grubhub or can I hit it up? Um, we have DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, um, Funtime, and also Rachel. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you.